Grade 5 Math, Topic 8, Lesson 7. In this lesson, we're going to be reviewing multiplying mixed numbers. Here's a worked example. I have 1 and 1 fourth times 2 and 1 fourth. So when I ha multiply mixed numbers, I have to change them into fractions greater than 1 to continue with the math. So doing that, I simply work the problem like this. I do 4 times 1, which is 4, and then I add 1 to 4. So that's 5. So my new fraction is 5 fourths. I have 2 and 1 fourth over here. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So that's going to be 9 fourths. Those are the equivalent fractions that are greater than 1. So they have these boxes that we're going to complete. So this is going to be 5 fourths for my 1 and 1 fourth multiplied by 9 fourths that I got from my 2 and 1 fourth. Now I'm going to multiply the fractions as normal with multiplying the numerators and then multiplying the denominators. So I have 5 times 9 on the top for the numerator and I have 4 times 4 on the bottom for the denominator. 5 times 9 is 45. 4 times 4 is going to be 16. Now I have this fraction greater than 1. I have to change it back into a mixed number to finish off this problem. So I am going to look at 45 and I'm going to divide that by 16. Remember, this fraction bar really means division. So I see how many times does 16 go into 45. So if I don't know, I can just start making educated guesses on about how many times it will. So I'm going to do 16 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Regroup my 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. So that's 32. Hmm, can I get closer? 16 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18, regroup my 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 48. That's greater than 45, so I'm not going to use 3, I'm going to use 2. So now I look at 16 times 2 is 32, I subtract that from 45, 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 minus 3 is 1, so now I have 13. So my whole number is going to be 2. 13 becomes my numerator and 16 becomes my denominator. I have to make sure that I can't simplify or put 13 16 in any lower terms. I cannot because 13 is prime, so it will only be divisible by 1 and itself. So my final answer is going to be 2 and 13 sixteenths. Let's look at another example. I have the whole number 4 here. To make a whole number in a fraction, I simply put 1 as the denominator. So I have 4 over 1 times 6 and 1 fourth. I have to do some work with this 6 and 1 fourth. So I do 4 times 6, which is 24, and then I add 1 which is 25, so I have 25 over 4 as my fraction, and that's going to be multiplied by 4 over 1. Multiplication stays the same, so I go across the top multiplying the numerators, I go across the bottom multiplying the denominators. So 4 times 25 is 100, 1 times 4 is 4. Now I have to look, can I change this back into a mixed number. I can because it's a fraction greater than 1. So I do 100 divided by 4. 4 goes into 10 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. So 10 minus 8 is 2. I have my 0 here. I have 20. So 4 goes into 20 5 times. And 5 times 4 is 20. And there's no remainder. So my final answer is going to be 25. One more example. I have to work with both fractions, changing them into a fraction greater than 1 because both are mixed numbers. So 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19 over 5. My denominator I get right from the problem. Now I multiply that by 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is going to be 15 and then this is my denominator so I have 15 over 2 so 
same rules for multiplication across the top numerators, across the bottom with the denominators. So I don't know 19 times 15 in my head, so I have to do it on the side here. 19 times 15. 5 times 9 is 45. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 1 is 1. So now I add these up. 5 plus 0 is 5. 9 plus 9 is 18. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I have 285 with the denominator of 5 times 2 here, which is 10. So now I need to change this in back into a mixed number. So I have 285 divided by 10. 10 doesn't go into 2, but 10 goes into 28 two times. 2 times 10 is 20. 28 minus 20 is 8. Now I have 10 into 85. That's 8 times. 8 times 10 is 80. And I have a remainder of 5. So my final answer is going to be 28 as my whole number. And then that remainder is going to be the numerator. And I keep the same denominator that... I had when I changed it into a fraction greater than 1, and that's 10. I need to check, can I change 5 tenths into a fraction that has lower terms? I can't. 28 is going to stay the same, but I have 5 tenths here that I can reduce. So if I have 5, I can divide by 5 on the top and 5 on the bottom that will not have a remainder with either number. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So my equivalent fraction that's in lower terms is going to be 1 half. So my final answer for this problem is 28 and 1 half.